Hello YouTube, welcome to my garage. Today we got some more car parts in for the Lotus. Gonna unbox it here real quick. So we gotta uh, order these from Monkey Wrench Racing. These would um, Oops, looks like we got some candy in here. A little smashed up. I uh, got a couple gaskets, um, one of them being the dipstick tube o-ring. I'm not leaking right now, but um, since I bought everything, I just decided to go ahead and get one. Uh, and got the, uh, I think they call these a breather tube. Um, I had a delete kit, but I reused the old gasket on the delete kit, so this goes to the lower part and this goes to the top part. I think I might be leaking from the lower part, so while I'm in there, I'm just going to go ahead and um, replace this to make sure I don't, I'm not leaking there. It seems to be that I'm leaking from somewhere above the radiator hose, but my um, my oil filter housing and connections aren't leaking, so I'm hoping it's this uh, gasket that's leaking and I'm going to get it. Uh, but, the uh, main thing for this channel is got something from Radium Engineering. So let's, um, there you go, dual catch can kit. So let's let's open it up and see what we got. So I do. I do have uh, other catch can kits from Radium. Um, pretty good quality. I have it on my Evo, um, and then I also had it on an S2000 that I sold already. So, so it looks like there's a couple hoses in here. Figure out what those are for. I'm gonna move the candy over. So it looks like we got a couple packages in there. Looks like there's one of the catch cans. The second catch can. And then this bag, I think it's the bracket. Yep, got all the fittings and got a bracket. Let's see what this looks like. So, a I think it's backwards. There you go. Bracket. There. Open one of these catch cans. <clears throat> so nice aluminum uh, anodized black. I always like the radium parts. They seem to be pretty good quality. And... Tell you uh, so what I really like about these are that they have dipsticks on them so uh, you know if, if you uh, have the car in if you have the it installed in the car you can always check to see if it's full of oil and if it's not you know you don't have to bother trying to take it apart and and actually on a couple of my cars, I actually, uh, since draining it, it's kind of hard to get to. Uh, on these, you pretty much have to uh, unscrew it off. You know, and then uh, pour this out. Or they also sell a little drain kit. Um, but what, you, what I found that you can also do is you can find a little syringe and stick it in here and then just suck it out that way if you don't want to take it apart. Um, so, nice 
part in here. It looks like there's a little check ball in here. And then uh, some media in there for the air all separated. It also appears that this gets mounted um, in such a way that you uh, you basically use these screws to uh, mount them on there, on the top there. And so these both appear to be the same part. Let me make sure I don't cross thread them. So these appear to be kind of the same. Uh, I got the hardware to mount it to the bracket. And then let's look at what we got here. Looks like we got a bunch of hose clamps. Got some Gotta figure out what that connection's for. Uh, got two connections, push on type. Got an AN type connection. Got another one with a little larger connection. Uh, that might be a dash 8 or dash 10. And then looks like we got a couple of 90. I think this would be called AN to push lock. And then another one that's a smaller AN to push lock. Got a installation instruction will be online, so I'm gonna I'm gonna check that out before I starting silence and I got a couple stickers so um, yep that's what I got there I'm gonna guess that uh, I'm gonna guess that this one ends up connecting to there and then uh, this one probably connects to there I'm not quite sure which if this connects to one of these or the top, but I'll uh, I'll check that out. And looks like everything just connects on. Let's see like that, and then they'll just be two right next to each other. And a couple hoses. Obviously, there's a smaller one and a larger one. We'll check out what that is. We'll also see if we need to reuse any hoses. Um, so let's, uh, all right. So I want to talk about what I currently have in the car. So, uh, I currently have a same dual catch can. Uh, I'm going to list the brand of this. I have it, it mounts to the, uh, one of them mounts there to the washer bottle and one of them mounts to the clam right here. Um, and then the, the thing I don't like about this setup is uh, there's no way to check if they're full of oil or not. And then really the only way to empty it is I have to take these bolts off and then either remove these hoses and take the whole unit off and there's a pitcock underneath. Uh, so it's kind of an ordeal to, to even check them. And by the time I'm checking them, I'm kind of draining them anyways. So I'm hoping with the new setup that it's all going to be easier to to check check and empty it so uh, looked on radium's website and they have it this is the orientation you have it assembled so the small uh, connection goes right there alongside the small AN connection I have not assembled this because I think you're supposed to like lube up the o-rings on these so I'm going to give it a light oil, and also all these bolts are kind of on there, hand tight, but I'm going to lube these O-rings before I connect them. And and then, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start pre-assembling this. I think this will uh, install in the car like that. Whoops. And since I already have a unit, I'm hoping my hoses weren't 
you do reuse some of the hoses the one that connects to this port and this port or the factory hoses pushed on uh, since mine were already has a catch can kit I'm hoping I don't have to reorder those but otherwise I'm prepared to uh, get new hoses for these so let me work on pre-assembling this unit all right <clears throat> so I'm gonna put the put these top connections on last so uh, looks like this is a three millimeter so I, I got these all tight on there Once you once you have it pretty tight in here, it's pretty solid. So I just got those pretty tight. Um, what I'm gonna do is, while I have it out of the unit here, I'm gonna make sure all these other I'm gonna make sure these O-rings are lubed up. So I'm gonna put oil. Make sure they're, um, they was probably fine. So that's lubed up. Putting a little bit of oil. Sure, don't cross thread it. Oops, kind of a fine thread there. There you go. Okay. Uh, don't have to worry about the O-ring because on this one there is an O-ring there, a uh, small black O-ring, but I'll be able to access that from the top so so these before I push them in I'm just gonna make sure that it doesn't like bind on the o-ring so I'm gonna a little bit I'm going to tighten that with a wrench. But. Okay. There you go. Now I feel better about that. I'm going to tighten that with the wrench. And also I'm going to check these. Uh, it's a little bigger. Uh, see if there's an O-ring in there. That will be hard to get to once it's in the car. Let me go find the Allen wrenches for these. All right, <clears throat> I got these tight on there. Uh, ended up the back end. There is a couple O-rings in here, so uh, looks like there's just a little fun. So while we have it out, I'm gonna go ahead and loop these up, make sure they're tight. So there's a there's a little drain kit you can buy that connects to here and uh, makes it easy for you to drain. I don't think it'll work with mine. I, I still, if I drain it down below, I still would have to take the um, diffuser off to drain it. So I didn't bother getting that. Um, all right. So an assembled unit other than the top here, which I'm going to go ahead and put on. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to tighten it. I think I might want to see how it, how it goes on the unit, how it goes on the car before I tighten these. But I'm going to go ahead and lube up the O-ring. All right, let's. Let's go to the car. All right, so start taking the old stuff apart. Uh, took this bolt off and it looked like it was, had to put the bolt back in because that's kind of holding up the uh, expansion tank. Took this bolt off right there. Um, 
I went ahead and disconnected this right at the valve cover. I do have a new PCV valve, so I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to, to do that. And then, of course, slid the hoses back a little bit. So, going to need two hands for this, but um, make sure I don't scratch anything. Okay, disconnected that. And then another one. I might need two hands for it. Oh, okay. And then, yeah, this unit should come out. So, so here's how you drain this unit, and that's kind of why I don't like it. Um, but we'll, uh, might sell this, because I think this is a uh, made for Lotus uh, part. Uh, I'll, I'll put the brand in here, see if anybody wants it posted on some forums or something. Um, but I've drained it a couple times and it, it, it does work. It's just kind of a little pain to get to. So we'll put that part aside. And then we're going to go see where this mounts. So I believe it mounts to uh, to right there, to two ears there. And I think that mounts directly to the valve cover. I'm going to go and check the installation manual real quick. And we'll see what I can come up with. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I think my hoses were cut because um, the part of the kit you're supposed to trim these hoses, but this is already too short, so I can't quite get here. And then this hose, I think, is supposed to come and connect to here. Obviously, a little too short. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can buy a new hose. It, uh, it is a weird hose. It, it starts out pretty thick and then reduces down to a smaller line same with this it, it starts out real big and then reduces down uh, what I can also do is maybe find this um, size hose and do a splice uh, I'll just kind of see how much these are um, but in the meantime change my PCV this is a 19 millimeter went ahead and blew on this and uh, just confirmed that it works the old one works but it was kind of grimy um, got the hoses. This is a push on, so lube this up a little bit and pushed it on. Uh, and obviously, these are gonna get trimmed because, um, you know, I think they gave you a little bit too much. So, gonna trim these and uh, just <clears throat> this one don't quite need as much um, trimming, but I'm gonna go ahead and trim these and connect these. And then the last thing I'll do is uh, tomorrow I'll go to the auto parts store and Try to see if I can figure something out with this. All right, all right, I got it installed in there. So um, this small connection was quite hard to get onto because it comes out and it bends down. So I actually had to uh, take the whole unit off the mount, get that started. Otherwise, it's gonna cross thread. Once I got it uh, all mounted, then I kind of put the bracket in. Uh, and of course the hose here, I just went ahead and cut it short so they're even. Uh, and I'm going to go tomorrow to see what I can figure out as far as um, connecting this. And then for this one, loop all the way to connect to this side. So let's see. I'll get better lighting tomorrow and I'll give you the finished product. Alright, so wanted to show my finished product. So I had to adapt... Uh, on the the intake there so adapted the line and then uh, also got uh, spliced in the line and took the adapter that's originally there the hose cut that off and and uh, spliced in the line got that over here so yeah everything is kind of zip tied and nice and tidy in there so that will conclude um, conclude this series this is the final product so we'll see how uh, We'll see how it works and I'll uh, check the canister every now and then and see if it's uh, doing its job. Thank you everybody. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.